Hello, Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, uh, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about the muscular attachment on the scapula. Uh, if you haven't gone through my previous video where I discussed about the bony features of the scapula, you must go through the, uh, that video first. So for, uh, we will talk about the muscle attachment onto the scapula. Here we have got supraspinous fossa. So the muscle attached over air here would simply be supraspinatus. So there is no rocket science or logic, just simple logic is supraspinatus fossa, it gets attachment to the supraspinatus muscle. Then here we have got infraspinatus fossa. So here would attach the infraspinatus muscle. So supraspinatus muscle, infraspinatus muscle. And anteriorly or ventral or coastal surface, this surface is called subscapular fossa. So subscapularis muscle gets attached over here. Simple as that. In supraspinous fossa, supraspinatus. In infraspinous fossa, infraspinatus. And then into the, uh, you know, this uh, in uh, subscapular fossa, we have got subscapularis muscle. Sorry for this artifact. Uh, I forgot to change the, you know, scapula bone, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for that. Okay, so here we have got medial border of the scapula, which is thin, and here we have got lateral border of the scapula, which is thick. So in lateral border, this is root of the scapula, root of the spine. Just below the root of the spine of the scapula, here we have got attachment of the you know, rhomboid minor, and uh, from rom below the rhomboid minor, we have got the attachment of the um, rhomboid major on the medial border dorsal surface, medial border dorsal, dorsal surface. Whereas this thick border, it gets attachment to the, you know, uh, teres minor uh, in its upper part and teres major in its lower part. As you can see, these, uh, you know, uh, red markings here. So teres minor, teres major, rhomboid minor, rhomboid major, they are attached in the V-shaped manner. The scapula, V, v of the scapula. So minors are up, uh, in, it, in their upper part and majors are uh, in the lower parts of the borders. Whereas this is inferior angle here, we have got attachment of the latissimus dorsi muscle, latissimus dorsi muscle, okay. So just above the root on the medial border here we have got attachment of the levator scapuli muscle, levator scapuli muscle. Now this is spine of the scapula, as you can see spine of the scapula, this is the dorsal border of the, or posterior border of the spine of the scapula, it has got two lips, upper lip and lower lip. This lower lip here, you can see a bit, you know, uh, it is convex. This is called deltoid tubercle. Okay, so this inferior, along the inferior border here attaches the deltoid muscle along the post, uh, inferior lip of the crest of the spine. Then it moves anteriorly and then it comes onto the lateral border of the acromion process. So here comes the uh, spine of the scap, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, cl clavicle. Here we have got clavicle. Then it moves on to the anterior border of the clavicle, lateral part, anterior border of the clavicle. This is deltoid muscle. So then we have got superior lip of the crest of the spine. Here comes the trapezius. Then trapezius moves to the medial border of the acromion process and then it moves on to the posterior border of the spine of uh, posterior border of the clavicle, lateral part posterior border of the clavicle. So here is the glenoid cavity, just above the glenoid cavity, this was supraglenoid tubercle and here is the uh, infraglenoid tubercle. On the supraglenoid tubercle, we have long head of bicep. And on the infraglenoid tubercle, we have long head of the tricep muscle. This is the coracoid process. Coracoid process is, you know, this is, look at the shape of this process. As I told you in my previous video, it means that beak of a crow. So it is a small process, small process. It is a small process. So I am deliberately adding an adjective, small 
to the word coracoid, so it always helped me in remembering that three small muscles get attached over here. First of all, shorted of bicep, then pectoralis minor. In pectoralis minor and major, they have got two components, one is smaller one, which is minor, and one is the larger one, that is pectoralis major. Smaller one gets attached over here. So short out of bicep, pec minor, and coracobrachialis, and coracobrachialis. Coracobrachialis is a very short muscle present between the, you know, it gets attached onto the, this uh, coracoid process, and its insertion is on the medial side of the, you know, uh, upper uh, shaft of the humerus, so it, it is very short muscle, very short muscle. So my mnemonic short process will help you in remembering three, mu three muscles. Short out of bicep, and pec minor, and coracobrachialis. Then we have got this medial border, ventral surface, from superior angle till inferior angle. Here we have got insertion of the muscle, which is serratus anterior muscle. Serratus anterior muscle, serratus anterior muscle. So again, in a quick review, this is small spot for the omohyoid muscle. So in a quick review, supraspinatus, above the spine, below the spine, infraspinatus, in subscapular fossa, subscapularis, then inferior lip of the crest of the spine and then lateral border of the acromion process, deltoid, then superior lip of the crest of the spine and medial border of the acromion, we have got trapezius. Then we have got, uh, um, you know, rhomboid minor just below the root of the spine uh, in the medial border, then just below the uh, 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 minor, uh, rhomboid minor, we have got rhomboid major, and then on the lateral border, which is thick, here we have got in the upper part, uh, we have got teres minor, then we have got teres major, then on the inferior angle, we have got latissimus dorsi, and uh, we have got on short process, of, uh, which is coracoid process, we have got short, pro uh, short head of bicep, coracobrachialis, and the packed minor muscle, and then we have got on the medial border above the root of the spine, here we have got levator scapulae muscle. And then we have on the ventral, ventral aspect, medial border from superior angle to inferior angle. Here along this medial border, we have attachment of the serratus anterior muscle. And then we have here finally, we have got supraglenoid tubercle, infraglenoid tubercle. On supraglenoid tubercle, we have got attachment of the long head of bicep, and here we have got long head of tricep. And uh, this is omo uh, attachment for the omohyoid muscle. I guess I have completed all the muscles uh, with their, uh, which gets attached onto the scapula. Uh, please comment if there is any deficiency so I can improve my you know, uh, teaching method. Thank you very much.